The STEM activity challenge is called floating paper clips. Obviously what we're going to do is we're going to take something that normally would sink in water, which it does, and we're going to get those things to float. So to run this STEM activity challenge for your classroom, I want to talk to you about the materials you'll need. I'll talk about setting it up and then finally I'll talk about the science at the end. <clears throat> so the materials. We're going to need some paper clips, obviously. I would go with some large ones and some small ones, give the kids a chance to see if some work better than others. We're going to need some paper towel. We're going to be cutting the paper towel up into small little squares, so you're going to need some scissors at each station. <clears throat> I like to go with a bowl, a big, large bowl. If you can do one that's clear, that's see-through, so that kids can see from the side what's happening as well, that's great. Otherwise, just a, you know, a colored bowl works. If you don't have that, you could do this with just a, an ordinary cup as well, but it's, it's a little bit more difficult to do. So larger bowls work better. So those are, those are all the materials you need for this activity. Now what we're gonna do in running this, once you've got the bowl, let me show you how we're going to get these paper clips to float. So this is our demonstration now. We're going to take the paper clip, we're going to set it onto a uh, little square of paper towel that the kids have cut out that's slightly larger than the paper clip itself. And we're going to very carefully set that down on the water. So the kids have to be really slow and really gentle, like that right there. <clears throat> And what we're going to do is we're just going to wait and we're going to watch. And what should happen is the paper towel should float down to the bottom. So sink down to the bottom here a little bit. And it will leave the paper clip floating up on the top. Let me get another one of these things ready to go. So I'll do a, a little tiny one here. And I'll use one of the smaller pieces of paper towel right here. And I'll try to set this one down in there gently. And let's try, I'm going to go with an even smaller square. I think I made these a little bit bigger than I normally do. So let's get a, another piece right here. Now this one's almost the exact same size, so it's going to be a little bit trickier for me to set this down in here, flat as can be. So we'll see. Oop, I'm already having trouble with that one. So we'll let that go there. <clears throat> Now what we can do is we can start poking a little bit at the paper towel because we want the paper towel to go down and we want to see the paper clips themselves float. So there we go, we had this one as paper towel just um, floated down. So that's we're trying to be really, really gentle here. That one's about ready to sink. That one floated down to the bottom. And there we go. So right now what we've got, and it took a little while, is we've got three paper clips, something that's more dense than water floating on the top. And the kids are, one, they're going to try to see if they can figure out how to get this to happen, if they can be careful enough. But then the question being, why? Why is this happening? And they want to try to figure that out. We want to talk to them about it. So let's go into the science behind this right now. And then I'm going to, I'm going to end with yet another demonstration to talk about this. The science behind this is surface tension, and you've seen this in some of my other science uh, STEM activity challenges. Water likes water, and when you are at the surface, that attraction of water for itself almost forms like a, a layer, a surface, that uh, has surface tension, which means we can put other things on there. And then once you break through it, then things will sink down through. And that's why when we took the paper clip and we dropped it vertically or set it in vertically, it just shoots right straight down to the bottom. So this water has a great deal of surface tension. And the goal being, can they get this to happen? So here, I want to show you a modification that you could do with your group if you want. You could take a paper clip 
like this large one, push the inside through and open it up. So it's kind of like we've opened it up 90 degrees now. And what you can do here is you can take this and use this to lower a paper clip down in. And I'll try this. I'll try to be really careful doing this. And if you're really, really gentle and really, really slow this way, I can try to be there. There we go. Yet another way we got the paper clip to float, again, because of the surface tension. Now, after a bunch of kids have done this and, and you've explained, you've talked about the surface tension that we have, now let's break it. So at the very end of class, we can break the surface tension, and if you can break the surface tension, it's going to cause the paper clips to drop down through. Now, one way you can break the surface tension is just by hitting the water and sending ripples through. But an even more fun and exciting way is to take a little tiny bit of dish soap and put it into the side, and then all of a sudden they're going to start dropping down. So I've got dish soap over there. I'm actually going to pause the video and go get it and then bring it back. Okay, I'm back. I went over. I got some dish soap, and I've got a Q-tip, also known as a cotton swab. My daughter saw me getting ready to do this and said, can I help with the video? So I'm going to let her help. So Hannah, come on over here. What? Oh, careful, careful. Walk very, very carefully. She's going to dip the end of this down in some dish soap. Very, very carefully. Okay, now get it so that it's not dripping. So rub it on the side. And this is something that you as the teacher can do at the very end. She's going to bring this in and touch it on the very side of the water over here, just a little bit away from the side, very, very, very slowly. And then we're going to start noticing the paper clips dropping down. So very, very gently touch the water, very gently. Keep touching the water. Okay, one drop. Another one, two. And then if we keep touching, it eventually at some point, this little guy right here is also going to drop down. Now you notice right at the very beginning of those paper clips, they all shot away because the surface tension over on this side was being broken and there was still surface tension over on the other side, we could say pulling the paper clips to it. So the more soap we get in here next to it, eventually this little guy here will drop. And so that's a great way to show it really was surface tension that was helping to hold up these paper clips. Hi, I'm Josh, also known as Science Demo Guy. If you liked the video that you just saw, and if you'd like to see more STEM activity challenges like this, along with the student worksheets that go with each activity, the materials that you would need to run this in your classroom, the grading rubrics and the teacher instructions, all of these as editable PDFs, which means if you wanted to, you could customize it for your specific classroom, then check out my website, sciencedemoguy.com forward slash store. What you'll find is that I sell these as individual products, and then I also sell them as packs at a discount. I have some very popular 16 packs, and I've just created a 36 pack, which I call STEM for the year. While you're there, be sure to check out the reviews that other teachers have left. We have hundreds of reviews from teachers that have loved incorporating these STEM activity challenges in their classroom, and maybe you will as well.